Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be working on this dress. It's an off shoulder dress with a princess that with a sweetheart neck and also double step flare at the base. I'll be using three yards of fabric to make this tutorial and we'll be needing the underbust and the knee length measurement and the full length. We'll also be needing the shoulder, the round shoulder measurement, the bust, underbust circumference, waist and the hip measurement. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. So let's move to the cutting table. Okay, I'll be starting with a front panel and to fold my fabric, I'm folding with the highest measurement, which is the hip. That's the hip measurement is 42, 42 plus 8 divided by 4. We have 12.5 inches. The length is, the full length is 45 inches and the knee length as the half length first is 34. So to the 34, I'm adding one inch. That's 35 inches. I have 35 inches. So it's an off shoulder dress. So it's going to be minus four. You start the measurements from minus four. And I have the remaining length of 35 inches. So also I have my 8.5 for the bust. Still with the minus four, I have 8.5. And I have 15 inches, which is the under bust. Next is the shoulder. Shoulder divided by 2 is 8 inches. That's 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. So there is a need to subtract 1.5 inch because it's an off shoulder dress. So this is my 6.5 inches. The bust measurement plus 8 divided by 4. The under bust circumference, that's after the under bust measurement, that's from the shoulder to the under bust. We have the under bust circumference plus 8 divided by 4, waist plus 8 divided by 4, and the hip plus 8 divided by 4. The base of our dress, since this is 12.5, I need to subtract 1 inch and I have 11.5 inches. Now, the circumference measurement, which are plus 8 divided by 4, is still the same as your measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Next, we need to connect our measurements. This is, we are working with a 6.5 inches. We've subtracted 1.5, remember? So from the bust, you just sketch it out to meet with the 6.5 to create your ham O. Just in case you don't have your cuffs, you can just connect from the under bust to the bust. The waist, the distance between the under bust and the waist measurement, 6 inches. You can always measure. The distance between the waist and the hip as well you can take the measurement on the person so as to be so as to make it easier so you can just connect the shape and all we have to do now is to cut just place this to get the back and to do that we need to add a zipper allowance of two inches to the back okay like I told us we need to place the front on the back and add your zipper allowance of two inches so we have wider fabric and we have a zipper allowance of two inches so all we need to do is to divide And to bring out the dart, the princess dart, from the middle, the measurement is 4 inches. So the 4 inches comes all the way to the nipple point. Just mark the nipple point from the shoulder. Then this is 4 already. Remember, this is minus 4 from our folding. This is minus 4. So the princess dart stops at the head. And now we're going to divide to cut it out the 
the next thing is to work on the neck design for the front depth i'll be making use of 6.5 inches so 6.5 inches is the depth and i'm working on a prince a sweetheart neck so i also have 5.5 inches i have 5.5 and i have 6.5 inches two with a minus four and you can always bring out your desired neck design but this is a sweetheart neck so i'm bringing out the shape from my 6.5 straight to the 5.5 inches then i'll curve my hand to get my desired shape then the back depth as well i'll be making use of 6.5 inches but this time around it's going to be a round shape so it's coming all the way to the edge of my shoulder measurements whatever neck design you are creating is coming to the edge of the shoulder just like this so we have the front and we have the back all right for the base i'm folding our fourth lay so in case you still don't know how to do this kindly watch how to call different types of flare we have a tutorial on that so we are attaching this to the hip of 42 inches and by the time we get to the knee because of the one inch we are subtracting it will fall back to 40 inches and since this is folded into eight we have 40 divided by eight that's five inches the length the remaining length is 11 remember we said the full length is 45 inches so i'm adding one inch to this and i have 12 inches so this is the first step of the flay the, the next step since this is 12 the next step is going to be eight inches if this is your first time on this channel kindly click the subscribe button and the bell for notification okay to create the band for the sleeve the round shoulder measurement is 42 inches 42 on on the main dress the shoulder is 6.5 inches while well, when we folded we measured out 6.5 inches and that is 13 inches all right so the front is 13 and the back is 13 as well that is 26 the total round shoulder measurement is 42 so 26 subtracted um, from 42 we have 16 inches now one sleeve is going to carry 8 inches and the other sleeve as well 8 inches so to get my 8 inches i'm folding the material into two and i'm using the length of four inches to get the eight inches i fold my fabric that means i need four plus my same allowance i'll make it five inches so this is for one sleeve and i need this to get the other one so this is going to complete the round shoulder measurement so you need to take the round shoulder measurement to get the sleeve so just subtract the shoulder measurement from whatever you have to get the remaining sleeve length so this is going to be one part of the sleeve and this is the other part of the sleeve 